And so it is that in April of each year, young men come pouring into the airports right across the plains. They come from Australia, South Africa, New Zealand and the British Isles, and they're nearly all from farming backgrounds. Men like Will Vincent from Dorset. He spends his winters looking after the young stock on his father's dairy farm, where the pastures run right down to the shore along the south coast. It's a beautiful place, with views across Chesil Beach just outside Weymouth. It's hard to imagine somewhere less like the Great Plains of the United States. Most summers, Will works for a local forage harvesting contractor. But this summer, life is going to be very, very different. Pretty amazing, really, the, sheer, the scale of it all. Um, the size, the equipment, oh yeah. Like over here, you've only got like a couple combines. If you're lucky, rounded together, and over there, you could have like seven, eight, nine. Will Vincent will be driving something quite a bit bigger than the old 4,000 used for scraping down the cubicles, and he says it's a job he won't be missing. Over in Suffolk, James Porter lives and works on his father's arable farm, some of the best land in Britain. It's a 2,000 acre operation, which means that it's pretty big by UK standards. But tiny compared to the prairie farms he'll be working on this summer. However, despite the size of the farm, apart from the pigeons, there are no livestock. So on a wet, windy spring day, there's not much work to do apart from tidying up around the barn. It'll be a good experience for me. Uh, big place, uh, a lot of people out there, and sort of never been been there before or done anything like it. So it'll be because it's new, I suppose. Lenham in Kent is a classic small market town. Pubs, markets, medieval churches and half-timbered buildings. Matthew Barnes lives on a farm but spends his winters driving a forklift at a local trucking company and he's a man who really loves machinery. I do love big machinery, big trucks, always have. Have you driven combines before? Not before, no. So are you going to be a truck driver or a combine driver? A um, bit of both. We'll be experienced on the trucks and on the combines. Do you think you're going to be able to handle 1,000, 1,500 hours in a season on a, <laughs> sitting in the cab of a combine? Looks pretty daunting, but yeah, we're giving it a go, getting a shot. Good for experience. <laughs> 